Hey, what up, y'all? Yo, we always, and I don't mean this figuratively, we always will attract what we are. Or what we're lacking. Okay? Now you're like, oh, yo, what is it? What I am or what I'm not? Because that encompasses everything. Okay, it's what you admit, okay? What you admit. Sometimes we admit what we need and we will attract that. Sometimes we admit what we are and we will attract that. Yeah, whatever frequency we're pumping out, the universe is like, what? You want this? I got you. Hold on. I got you. So whatever we're doing, we're going to get. It's just, it's just how it should be. The other day, meaning last night, meaning the 4th of July, I was coming home, driving on the highway, and it was around 10.30, 11 p.m. 4th of July, that time slot is a time slot for shenanigans. I didn't really indulge in any shenanigans. But yo, there are shenanigans afoot. People setting off fireworks, motherfuckers drinking, loud barbecues, just general wilding out is taking place all around, around this time on that day. So last night I'm driving home, innocent me, uh, cops everywhere. Cops is just everywhere. And yo, listen man, listen. I've been harassed by cops my whole existence. It just happens, man. I just, I, I guess I don't have a, I don't have the complexion of protection. To quote my homie, shout out to you flows, I remember. And um, yo, just harassment. It happens, man, it happens. So I'm driving home, trying to be cool, trying not to be worried about this harassment. And as I'm going ahead, yo, I have this funny habit that, uh, like if I see a cop chilling in like a nearby parking lot, ready to stalk their prey. Yo, as long as I got someone behind me, they're a buffer, and that cop cannot fuck with me because there's someone behind me, they'll have to fuck with them. As long as I got that behind buffer, I'm Gucci. Without the racism. So I was like driving, and I seen the cop over there in the parking lot, and I look behind me, and ain't nobody behind me for a minute too. It's kind of chill. There's a, a decent amount of traffic for the time, but behind me is kind of like a desert. And I'm driving, and I'm driving, I see the cop, and I'm like, oh shit. Look at my rear, I was like, damn, I ain't got no buffer. I was like, no, it's cool. And I keep going. And then this motherfucker comes out of the parking spot, whoop, and goes behind me. No sirens, no lights, no nothing. Just goes behind me. Now I'm driving, and yo, my heart is just like, be like, yo, they looking for you, bro. They just gonna get you. Yeah, I mean, I hate to be so cliche and so unconscious about shit, but yo, I got some bad fucking luck with these goddamn cops, man. I ain't doing shit. I'm free, sir. I'm not even breaking any laws. It's that slave mentality that they, they've oppressed since the beginning. Since the beginning of, uh, since the beginning. So, I'm driving, I see the cop behind me. I'm like, yo, let's not be suspicious unless I drive too slow. Let's not look like I should be pulled over and let's chill the fuck out. So I'm just going, going forward. Yo, only like for two blocks and then there's a White Castle. I'm like, yo, I'm dipping to this White Castle real quick. Ain't eat White Castle in a long time. But right now they my savior. So I go, er, go into the White Castle, Peachy Keen, cop keeps it moving. Whoa, yes, thank you. Now I'm in the White Castle, there's a drive through line. I'm not on it because I'm not there to get nothing. Even though I heard White Castle got the Impossible Burger and I heard it's good. So praises to plant-based shit, but I don't care. Right now I just dipped out there to avoid the cop. So I go out the back and to leave this uh, White Castle area, and I'm just at the stop sign. I'm chilling, giving the cop time to fucking live, man. I don't want to be behind the cop. I'm trying to be cop free. So I'm just chilling. I'm cooling at the stop sign. No one, you know, they're getting food. So no one's even leaving where I'm leaving. So I'm just chilling there for like a minute. Like a straight up minute at the stop sign. And I go around, boop, 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 dip right back onto the highway. Keep it moving. Woof. Okay. Woof. Me, I, I like to, I try my very best. I know our true power comes from inside. It's internal. It's peace. It's, you know, the, you know, the inside is heart, the outside is head, man. That's just how it is. And I know you're like, the outside is head, but the head thinks and thoughts are inside. Yeah, but we're thinking inside about outside shit. Usually, usually. But I try to be heart-centered, try to be cool on the inside, man. Yo, once you got your insides in check, ain't no outside shit can fuck with you. But yo, this outside shit fucked with me heavy. So I was kind of disappointed. I was like, damn, yo, I, had, I couldn't just be cool and calm. I couldn't be chill enough to keep it moving and not let this guy fuck up my frequency. 
Like, I just dipped. I was fucking, I was scared, yo. But, I was like, you know, I was beating myself up a little bit about it. I was like, damn, man, you know what? Next time I'm gonna do better. I don't wanna be a little bitch. Next time I'm gonna do better. So yeah, I'm driving, dead ass, yo. Two minutes later, I assume it's probably the same cop is pulled over in the next plaza parking lot doing the same fucking shit, pulled over, stalking prey, the same fucking shit, two minutes later, on the same fucking road, and it says Linden Police. Same fucking cop car, I bet, because it was the same one said the same shit. Now this time I was like, ooh, now I could redeem myself, second chance, now I could chill the fuck out. I don't gotta be freaked out. I could just chill and just do this the way I should handle it. Higher self chiming in heavy like, yo, bro, you got this shit. Yo, but these motherfuckers are gonna pull us over. Yo, chill, nigga, chill. Stop wilding out. You acting like a bitch right now. Chill. All right, I got you. So I'm going. And I see, the, I see the cop car pulled over over there. And I'm just like, and yo, let me tell you. At this point, I said before, it was a desert behind me. At this point, it was a desert everywhere. Was it nobody in front of me? Nobody behind me? I was like the lone car on the road at this point. Yo, there must have been a light, like, a mile behind me everyone was stuck at. And motherfuckers, was, yo, it was just this weird fucking, I was very alone. There was a cop over there. Fuck, I don't give a fuck, right? This is, I, I seen the opportunity coming. I was like, all right, now I can handle this shit for real. Because yeah, I, was, I was disappointed that I let this shit fuck me up. That I let my internal fear guide my external actions. So this time I was like, you know what? I'm going to let my internal chill the fuck out. I got this. Guide my external. Everything's going to be I-ness of it. Oh, you should look at my hand. Wow, that's fucking dope. Pixely. Ooh. So I drove. I, I, I... I looked to see where the cop was. I was a little nervous. This time I was like half as, as freaked out as I was two and a half minutes earlier. But I kept it moving. There wasn't no cars around me. The cop was there and I was just like, I was like, nah, I'm chilling. Everything's cool. I passed the area and then uh, I, I frantically look at my rear view to see if he's following me or nothing. And he's not. Nothing happened. Everything's cool. Desert remains. And I was just like, I was like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm good. I was like, all right. I was like, did I pass that test though? Because I feel like I didn't do that good. I mean, obviously the cop didn't follow me. And yo, he like, let's say he was like a real douche cop. He could have been like, yo, that was the car that was just fucking a minute ago. I was behind, something fishy's going on. Boop, cause yo, I didn't even have enough time to get food, yo. I dipped out for literally like a minute. That it would have, if he was one of those guys on his shit, it would have been a wrap for me. But I kept it cooler-ish. He didn't bother me, I kept it moving, boom. Then later, later, as I'm getting off the highway towards my part of town, I make the turn off. There's a light coming up. You know, but there's cars in front of me or whatever, so I'm just kind of chilling. In the parallel parking area next to me, there's a cop. And he's slow driving out the parking area to meet at a stop sign. So he's at, we're like parallel, man. He's in this parking lot. I'm over here. I got a light over there. He got a stop sign over there. But we're, I'm like, yo. There's a really good chance that we're gonna meet up and this motherfucker's just gonna follow me because we're taking the same path, same time, same shit. I was like, you know what? This is my chance to really get this shit. Because before I only half got it, even though the results uh, suggest I did a good job because I ain't, it ain't following me. Universe, this is me, uh, this is my translation of what the universe and life is trying to speak into me. This time I was able to, this time was my opportunity to ace the fucking test. And I was like, and as I'm driving, I got to that, that, that light where I had to make the left, that I'm parallel with this fucking cop. I'm like, you know what? I'm just make the left. I'm not even going to fuck with my rear view and check to see if the cop is behind. I'm not going to do none of that checking because all that checking is just fear shit. It's like, yo, should I be scared? Oh, no, I shouldn't be. Everything's cool. Yo, should I be scared? Oh, shit, I should be. He's behind me. Yo, I don't need permission to feel my fucking feelings based on my environment. Fuck you, environment. My feelings are internal. And guess who's in charge of my insides, man? Me! So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this shit on lock. I got this. Whew, I was still scared though. I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous, but I felt like life was giving me a bone. Life kept giving me the same fucking test. One of my biggest fucking fears. And yo, that same fucking night, my girl's biggest fear is losing her phone. And that shit happened. And yo, she predicts her losing her phone all the time, but I feel like it's just feeding fear and then fear manifests because you're feeding it so much. And that's the same, like an hour before I left on my fucking journey, this happened. So all of this is just very, life is speaking to me. And life is saying the same shit and I'm hearing it. And I'm, 
<laughs> I'm listening loud and clear. I got you, life. I feel you. So I'm going to listen. I'm going to take heed. So third cop shit should be behind me. Like I said, I'm at the light. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to OD. I'm not going to look at my rear view and check if it's a cop. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to chill the fuck out. I'm going to drive like a regular fucking human being. I'm not going to do anything worthy of being pulled over. I'm not going to be pulled over. I'm not going to be scared. Everything's going to be peachy. Yo, fuck this shit. I ain't no bitch. I got this. So yeah, you know, I, I, I go, I make that left at the light. I'm, I'm in the area where the cop might be behind me, but I'm not checking. I'm just cooling out. I'm going forward. There's another left I got to make. I'm still driving. I see that what the car behind me, through glances, because I'm not checking, I'm not walling out, freaking out or anything, through glances is like an SUV, which ain't good because that's usually the cop cars that be fucking around. But I'm not worrying. I'm not ODing. I'm just being aware. I'm just aware. I'm observing what's happening. I'm not reacting to it. Without any emotional control, I'm just being. And I see that there's SUVs behind me for a minute. And I was like, you know what? I'm not worried. It's no problem. I'm just check, just, just to make sure. Because, yo, I'm not worried. I'm not checking to see if I should be scared or not at this point. I'm just checking out of curi curiosity now. And I checked, and it wasn't shit but an SUV. It was just a regular fucking car. I wasn't nervous. I, I was able to master the lesson through three fucking times. It was the 4th of July from like 10 to 11 p.m. This is the time where shit is popping or shit is post-popping where people are going home in a popping shenanigan state of mind. So I had the timing that delivered lessons on lessons to me. And though it was a rough start, I was able to get them. This is how we learn, this is how we do inner growth, this is how we develop ourselves. Instead of blaming, man, fuck the cops, fuck the police and this system, it just wants to take motherfuckers like me, damn, all oh, this bullshit, man. Nah, yo, just, it's inside. Do the inner work. Get a grip of that fucking craziness. Realize it's craziness and realize that that craziness ain't you. You are in charge of that craziness and calm the chaos, yo. Calm the chaos. Soothe it. Relax, man. Tranquilo. Let's chill the fuck out. So that was my lesson. I just wanted to pass it to y'all because, yo, shit is real, man. A lot of people, a lot of people talk shit and they're, they're speaking from a, a pedestal in a higher place. And they're speaking without doing. And they're just fucking speaking. So what they're speaking to is you. A lot of these people ain't speaking to themselves. They're not speaking life shit. Yo, I be doing this life shit, man. I apply this shit that I speak to y'all. The only reason why I speak it to y'all is because I ran it through me first. And I'm like, yo, this is legit shit. I shouldn't tell these motherfuckers that. So I'm only sharing what is true with all of you because I love you. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. Don't let the fears get you, man. Because... We manifest whatever we feed our energy into. Our energy is that pure magic. Our consciousness is gold. So whatever you invest, it's like money, baby. Whatever you invest in is what you become. So if you invest your energy into bullshit, bullshit will manifest. So just be careful and be mindful. Because we're conscious creators. God damn it. And I love you. For real. For real.